can I ask you, Philip, I, when it comes to Ten Hag, again, you've you kind of worked with him as well, haven't you? So, yeah. do, do you rate him as a manager? Do you think he's the next generation of, of great Dutch managers? Because we've seen quite a few in history. Yeah, well, we both worked as uh, an assistant coach of Fred Rutte at PSV. Uh, uh, so, he worked back then already in a great way with especially young players. Uh, and he gradually developed himself as a, as a manager, step by step. And, and the performance he, he, he did and made with Ajax and the way he, they played football uh, made him possible to make uh, the manager of, of Manchester United. Uh, and this will decide for him in the future how big a manager he will be. Yeah. Managing a great club, sure. one of the best clubs in the Premier League. Yeah, if you're successful... He can be a great manager. So, from, from your experience, what, what are his real qualities? You know, what type of a manager is he? Well, I know, for example, in his spell in FC yep. Utrecht, yep. he played a different system. Okay. He, they played with five in the back. And then he went to Ajax and just played like Ajax always plays, yep. with his style of football. So, he's... He's got a clear vision, but he's also able to adapt. Something was also necessary, because you cannot copy how you work in Holland exactly. This is the way I'm going to work in the Premier League. It's a different league, different, different culture. So he, sh he, sh he has shown that he's able to adapt. His tactical skills are, are good, but I think there are more uh, managers in the Premier League with, with high standards of tactics. So the ability to, to adapt to work with a group of top players and set goals. Well, he's shown at least in Holland he could do it, uh, as well in the league as internationally. Now, of course, there's more pressure in, in the Premier League and at Man, Man United, but mm. if he can pull it off, he's a great manager. I, I think that was always the key, though, isn't it? Like, he, in Holland, where before he was at Ajax, he had that opportunity to play a different sort of system. When you go to Ajax, it's the system that Ajax play. There's a structure in place right from the bottom all the way to the top. Player recruitment, they recruit specialised players just for Ajax. They don't re recruit them necessarily for the manager. So going to Manchester United then, all of a sudden, it's a, there's a, almost like a blank canvas to a degree, but without the organisation that Ajax would have. Not without the, without the structure in place, because that's been the problem, right? People yeah. have been crying out for a structure at Manchester United for a long time now. And, and that's, that's always going to be the question mark that I have for him is, OK, how is he going to adapt? How is, he, how is his influence going to be on the signings of players? Because now he has a greater responsibility with those sort of signings. And then, then the work he has to do on the football pitch to retrain, to teach these guys to play a system that he's most comfortable with and wants them to go forward with. It's yeah. a great question. After two games, everyone was questioning, weren't they? After six games, now people are starting to say, yeah, he is the real deal. I think we have to be patient and wait. Yeah, and see. it's still early in the season. Yeah, a lot can happen. But, but like you said earlier on, after those two games, he didn't have the players he really wanted in terms of the extra recruitment, and it needed those those yeah. bad performances and the dire sort of position supposedly Manchester United to be in for the club then to go right. Okay, we need to go out and get these guys. Uh, or if we're going to back the manager, if we're really truly going to be behind him, we have mm. to support him and get those players in. Sounds like something out of the Mourinho playbook. Well, I don't think I don't think Ten Hag necessarily did it on like he Not played on purpose, it out. I'm, I'm no, but, but mm. of course he would have applied more pressure. Then, of course, no doubt about it, he would have been banging on the door like Jose Mourinho, like I think any manager would have done. I think for Ten Hag, it's it's an opportunity of a lifetime, right? To 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 leave Ajax to go to the next step up again because Ajax is already a big step, but then to go to another step altogether, it's an unbelievable opportunity for him to. To, to create something special at United that have, has been lacking for a number for quite a long period of time now. Okay.